Alrighty, you ready to tune things up? Because what we're going to work on are the uh, mostly upper back, but it's hard to just isolate the upper back, so really the whole back, but the shoulders and the arms. Now, when it comes to stretching and strengthening any part of the body, alignment matters. So I'm going to go through this because it's important. A lot of the time we're not in great alignment, our posture is not stellar, it's life. We get tired, we start hunching over. So I want you to start in just a little bit out of alignment and really basically it's just, you know, end of the day stuff, tired, but we still want to move our arms. So I want to anchor this idea, pick an arm, we're going to do both sides, and I want you to just um, be casual and relaxed as opposed to in your beautiful, perfect posture, which I know you all know about, uh, and then lift your arm up. So you're not in perfect posture, you're lifting your arm up. I just want you to notice how far does it comfortably go, okay? No right or wrong here, and then lift it out to the side. And just see how far it wants to go. All right, now, three things to think about in perfect alignment. Lift up at your sternum, get your shoulders back, and you can bring them up to your ears and roll them back, and then make sure your head is centered between your shoulders. Now, same arm, let's lift it up. Do you notice a bigger range and ease of movement, take it out to the side. All right. In order to anchor this idea, let's do it again on the other side. So you've had a tough day, you've been out gardening, or you've been sitting in front of a screen, or driving a car for hours stuck in traffic, and you're feeling eh. But you come home and you start moving your arms because what happens is when we're not in perfect alignment, certain ligaments and tendons and muscles are going to be overused. Lower your arm, take it out to the side, just take it up as high as it just naturally or organically wants to go. And then other muscles and ligaments and tendons are slacking off. We want everything working, right? So lift up at the sternum again. These are your three tips for getting your posture just right. Get your head back. As Soon as your head goes back, your whole tummy area flattens and lengthens. And then lift the shoulders up to the ears, exhale and roll them back. And let's move the arm again. You're doing working with the other arm. Lift it up. You notice the ease, lower it down. Lift the other arm up. Notice the ease, the range of motion. So I hope that you will think about this because once you anchor these ideas, once your body starts to remember um, and think about it, remember, you're putting all the members of parts of the body, we'll call them members, you're remembering them, you're re putting them back together, okay? Kind of like Humpty Dumpty. So, all right, you got this one. Now, imagine you're wearing suspenders. Been a while, hasn't it? I want you to take your thumbs. So, I mean, a woman could grab her bra strap, or you can take your thumbs and put them underneath your armpits, and then bring your elbows down. This is another way of just getting the shoulders the front of the body, the collarbones lengthened and opened. I mean, feel this. You can probably feel your lats working, all your muscles in the back of the body, just by getting your thumbs either underneath, as I say, a bra strap, but more intense is to put your thumbs, you know, it's the banker. I'm the banker, okay? Because that's what the bankers do, put their thumbs under their <laughs> under their suspenders. Okay, next up, let's Groucho Marx. He didn't have it all wrong, but he didn't have it all right either because Groucho would walk like this, right? 
Okay, get his little pace. Well, you're not going to do that. What you're going to do is bring your arms behind your body, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and just breathe. Ah, oh. opening up the front of the body, getting the shoulder blades back. Breathe, 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 and then take your feet about two to two and a half feet apart. Bend your knees. Look up at the sky. Exhale. Forward fold. Bring your arms up and over behind your back, whatever amount you can. And then truly let your head hang off your neck. Ha! <sighs> and you feel some blood rushing into your head because your head is lower than your heart. Getting some extra blood supply to the brain, the face all of your endocrine glands, and then release your arms. Okay, walk your feet in towards one another. Bend your knees, inhale, sweep up into Utkatasana, horseman's pose. So, working shoulders, delts, upper back. Now you're working more than that, but we're focusing on the back and the shoulders and the arms. Exhale, float the arms down. One more time. Inhale, sit back, put your weight in your heels. <sighs> Lifting arms up. Okay, we're building up a little bit of tension in the lower back. Bring your hands into prayer. Let's bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. You need to bend your Knees a lot, twisting, releasing any tension. <sighs> and then release your hands down towards the floor. Let your heads hang. Feel this is a little bit of stretch in the backs of the legs. Releasing again the lower back and then bend your knees, drop your hips. Let's take the opposite elbow to the outside of the opposite knee, coming into a twisted chair. Pavriti Utkatasana. <sighs> and then release your hands to the floor. Step your feet apart. Let's turn the uh, left foot forward, the right leg and foot are pointing about 60 degrees forward. The right is pointing 90 degrees forward. Bend the front leg, straighten the back leg. Come on up into warrior one. So your warrior postures actually strengthen most of the muscles in the body. Nothing too intense here. And then let's open up into warrior two. This is also stimulating for abdominal organs, creating some space. Lower your back arm, down your back leg, reach that top arm up. And then bring your arms back into shoulder height. Let's face forward, five pointed star. Engage your thighs by lifting up on your kneecaps, fold halfway forward. Fingertips tented on the floor. Let's sweep the left arm up, reaching up, stretching up, looking up. Exhale, float that arm down. Inhale, float the other arm up, reaching up, stretching up, and maybe looking up. Exhale, float it down. Let's pivot and turn to the other direction. Make sure your front foot 90 degrees forward, which would be your right foot now, and then your back foot pointing about 60 degrees forward. Back leg straight, front knee bent. Inhale, come on up into warrior one. Now, pay attention for a moment. Think about your shoulder blades. We can obviously lift the shoulder blades up and lift the uh, shoulders up, but let's try to allow those shoulder blades to stay down as well as the shoulders away from your ears. Okay, 
So that's warrior one. Let's transition into warrior two. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your wrists are over your ankles. Let's lower the back arm down the back leg. Coming up into peaceful, exalted warriors. Reaching up, stretching up. Looking up. And come on back into warrior two. And then straighten your front leg. And we are going to come down onto the floor for a very potent uh, little stretch twist more than strengthening that I find so opening for the hips, all right? Like, he not just opening, healing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take our arms out to the side, shoulder height, and draw your bent knees towards your chest. Okay, take both knees over to the left, Turn your head to the right and keep your right shoulder on the mat and slowly take your knees over to the left. If you want to work your core, slow things down. Practice mindfully. Pay attention. Inhale, bring those knees, they're glued together, back to the center, head comes to center. Exhale, take both knees over to the right and take your head to the left and you're keeping your left shoulder on the mat. Hmm. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. And this time, take your feet to the floor, keep your knees bent, scooch your body over to the right side of your mat, and then lift your feet back off the floor. Knees are bent and then slowly lower both knees over to the left, all the way down to the floor. If you have a cushion or a block and you want to put it under your knee, but truly your right shoulder may come off the floor at this point. That's okay. I prefer that you have both of your knees stacked on top of one another. So your palms are facing up. Both of them are facing up at this position identify your right arm. It will be on the opposite side of your bent knees. And think about your arms like the hands of a clock. Take your right arm and sweep it up and over behind your head along the floor. Please do this slowly. Arms of the clock do not move quickly. And I want you to feel your pectoral muscles stretched out because they don't get a lot of stretching. In fact, they're often contracted because the arms are forward. Shoulders can be rounded and hunched. That makes for weak pectorals. So I am just arriving with my right arm at midnight. And now I want you to turn your palm over and take your fingertips along the floor. If we just left nine o'clock, we're working our way from midnight over to three o'clock to join the other arm and roll on to your side, okay? So bring your hands together in prayer position. You're actually right on top of your left hip, left shoulder, the side of your body. We're gonna take that top arm and we're gonna take it from three o'clock back up to midnight, palm facing down, Reach and stretch, really stretch and reach up to midnight and slowly then flip that hand so the palm is facing up and you're taking the arm back to nine o'clock. Reaching and stretching. And notice what's going on in this arm because we're going to do the other side and you'll get to compare. But basically, we are creating greater mobility and openness in the shoulder joint. But go carefully. Let's take that nine o'clock hand slowly back up to midnight over above your head. You can think about making snow angels because at this point, we're not going to get any snow for a while. 
It is the month of April when I'm teaching this class. And then turn the hand so that the palm faces the floor when you hit midnight and continue with your palm facing down and your fingers tracing a big arc over top of your head, joining the other hand. Okay, now bring your top knee into your chest and use your top hand to take hold of the shin near the knee to bring it in as close as possible. And then with the hand that's on the floor, use your peace, peace fingers, grab your big toe, and carefully extend that top leg out to the side. All right. Now, some of you won't be able to straighten your leg. Uh, if you have your belt handy, you may even wish to put that around the ball of the foot, not the arch, but the ball. And then straighten the bottom leg, reach your top right arm up towards the ceiling and slowly open that arm and lay it back down towards nine o'clock. Now it's not likely to land on the floor, but it might. But if it's just hanging out in space, you're working some of your shoulder inner uh, muscles holding the arm there, but imagine it's being supported in jello. So reaching the arm out, you've got a beautiful twist to your spine, a nice twist to your abdominal organs. One more inhale to stretch that leg out to the side, your right leg, and on an exhale, release your fingers from the toe. On an inhale, Rolling onto your back, lifting the right leg up towards the sky as you roll onto your back and then slowly lower your right leg back down onto the floor. Make sure you're right on your back here. Lengthen the leg slowly so that you get to use your quadricep muscles, your thighs, your hip flexors, your lower abs. There you go. Now that leg is probably feeling longer than the one you have yet to stretch. And we'll do something about that. So bend your legs, place the soles of your feet on the floor, bring your arms beside your body, and then scooch your torso over to the left side of the mat. Take your arms once again out to shoulder height with the palms facing up. Draw your knees up towards your chest. I'm just going to change my position in case you need to check so you're able to see what I'm doing. But hopefully you don't need to look at your screen. Just listen with your ears. So, you kind of know the drill here now. Your knees, your ankles, and your thighs are glued together. Inhaling in place, exhale. Drop both knees over to the right first. All the way over to the right. Keep your left shoulder on the mat as best you can. Inhale, slowly bring the knees back to the center. Exhale, both knees over to the left. Keeping the right shoulder on the mat. Feel the stretch through the right armpit. Inhale, bring the knee back to center. Keep your knees glued together if you can. And then exhale, both knees all the way over to the right. So you've got your arms now at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position. The three o'clock is your right arm, the nine o'clock is your left arm. The one that's opposite 
where your bent knees are. So once again, palms are facing up. You're going to inhale your left arm, stretching, reaching, arms of a clock, or think ballerina, reaching up towards 12 o'clock, and then flip the palm down so that your fingertips are lightly moving along the floor, bringing both your hands together at shoulder height with your knees bent, so both your arms and your legs are on the same side. We're going to take that top arm and reach it one more time. We're going to go back from 3 o'clock, dragging your fingertips along the floor, keeping your arm as straight as possible, going slowly, no surprises for the body. And then once you hit midnight and past, flip your hand over, rotating the arm bone in the socket as you open back over to 9 o'clock. So you should start feeling some expansiveness in your chest area as well as your shoulder joint. Let's take that left arm, reaching it up and over behind the head, you're dragging it along the floor. Once it hits midnight and past midnight, you're turning the palm down and making that arc with your fingertips, bringing the hands together. Okay, let's do the other side. So draw the knees up towards the chest. Arms are out at the side at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Keep your ankles, knees, thighs glued together as you slowly lower both over to the right. Head to the left. Left shoulder stays on the mat. Slowly bring your knees back to the center. You get to work your core. Strong core, strong back. Exhale, lower both knees over to the left, head to the right. Try to keep that right shoulder on the mat. That gives a nice stretch to your chest muscles, your shoulder. Inhale, slowly feel your core working. Be aware of what's firing. Bringing your knees to center and this time slowly lower both knees all the way down to the floor on the right side. Opposite arm, left arm at 9 o'clock, palm facing up. Inhale, sweep the arm up over behind your head, but go slowly. Feel the stretching of the muscles supporting the shoulder joint. And then you're rounding midnight. Turn the palm over to face the floor. Slide your fingertips along the floor. Bring your hands together in sideways prayer. And we're going to take it back once more. So palm faces down as you draw your top arm along the floor. Think about drawing an arc coming around to midnight. You're going to start to Open up the chest, flip your hands so the palm faces up as you move from midnight all the way back over to 9 o'clock. And go slowly because we don't want to surprise the body or hurt the body. So let's now repeat the arm from 9 o'clock coming up to midnight, palm is facing up. And once you get to midnight and you're working your way over to 3 o'clock, flip the palm down towards the floor, drawing and reach. Feel the stretching of the muscles over top of the shoulder blade here. And then you're bringing your hands together in prayer. Draw your top knee up towards you. Hold it in as close as you can to your body. Take your bottom arm. Peace fingers, take the big toe. 
of that top leg and you're stretching the leg out to the side. And then inhale your top arm and reach it up. And you're lowering the arm back over to nine o'clock. So you reached up to the ceiling and letting the arm just kind of float. Well, and if it's not comfortable floating, use the muscles of the shoulder and the arm to hold it in space. You won't be holding it very long here. Reaching, stretching. <sighs> okay, straighten the bottom leg. On your next inhale, release your toes, lift the leg up towards the ceiling, roll onto your back, straighten your body out, and slowly lower your left leg towards the floor. I'm about halfway there. Activating thigh, hip flexors, and lower abs. Okay, bring your arms beside your body. I'm trusting now that your legs are equal in length from this exercise. And then draw your knees up in towards your tummy. Hands are underneath the backs of your thighs. You can roll over onto your side and use your top arm to push yourself up, but I kind of like rolling up if that's possible. Then come on over onto your tummies. Okay, so this is strengthening the upper back big time. It's also going to activate your heart. Place your forehead on the floor. Bring your arms beside your body with your palms facing up. Your legs are together. Un Curl your toes, flatten the tops of your feet. Your toes should be pointing backwards. On an inhale, lift your head, neck, shoulders up, and bring your arms up. Okay, we're in Salabhasana here. Now, take your arms out to the side. Palms are facing down. Inhale, bring the arms in front, reaching and stretching. Palms are still facing down. Bring your arms back to the side, lifting up as much as you can. Flip the palms up, come back into Salabhasana. Exhale, lower all the way down. Turn your head to the right, let your shoulders melt. Big toes touch and heels splay out. Oh boy, so that's really working the arms and the shoulders as well as your entire back. And we're going to do this one more time. Bring your head back to the center. Forehead on the floor. Roll an invisible alley with your nose to lengthen your neck. Your palms are facing up. On an inhale, let's lift the head, neck, shoulders, arms. And this time, bring the legs up. Okay, let's really go for gold here. Okay, bring the arms out to the side, palms are facing down. Bring them in front of your head, palms are still facing down. Might even be a little easier with your legs up, huh? And then bring the arms back to the side, lift up a little more, flip the palms to face up. One more inhale, exhale, excellent. Turn your head to the other side, let your shoulders melt, big toes touch, heels splay out. Hmm, feel your heart beating, working. All that extra blood supply flowing to the extremities of your body. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders, pressing up. Let's come into one modified child's pose just to stretch out the lower back and the spine. So bring your toes together, take your knees as wide as the mat, take your buttocks back towards your heels, release your torso between your thighs and your forehead onto the floor. And just breathe here. Feel the stretch now. You're stretching your arms out in front. And of course, if there are knee issues, you're going to be in puppy pose. Your knees will be underneath your hips. Your bum will be up in the air. But I still want you to get a good stretch here uh, for your shoulders that you've been working and your back. And remember, if your knees are uncomfortable on the mat and you need extra padding, a small blanket or towel is always extremely helpful. 
in making your knees more comfortable. Okay. Arms are stretched out in front. Middle finger points forward or your hands are ahead of your shoulders on the floor. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips up. Come on into a downward facing dog. <sighs> and then inhale. Come into plank position. Hands should be under the shoulders. And then roll on to the tops of your feet. Come on up into upward facing dog. Looking up so your thighs stay off the floor. And then curl and roll over onto the balls of your feet. Come on into downward facing dog. One more plank position. Should be feeling pretty light and pretty strong at this point. Roll over onto the tops of your feet, back into upward facing dog. <laughs> and your last downward facing dog. Okay, walk your feet towards your hands. Let your torso hang, okay? Your last just stretch for your lower back and let your head hang, relax your neck. Keep a soft bend in your knees and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Let your head be the last thing to come up. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Shake it all out. And have the best day ever. Thanks for joining me for your weekend tune-up. See you again.